Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another rugby reaction. Today we're going to be checking with the All Blacks versus England in a friendly match, I believe is. Yeah, it's not a part of a competition, I don't think. Um, but yeah, really excited for this one. Uh, I've been slacking a ton with my rugby stuff, as I've said <laughs> every time I do a rugby video lately. But um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting back into it. We're getting back into it. Um, yes, yeah, so we got the All Blacks, England uh, at Dunedin. And then I believe there was also a Springboks, uh, Ireland friendly as well so I'll, I'll get to that as well uh should have that out either like right after this one or like the next day um yeah excited for this um yeah ho hoping there's not going to be any um like copyright issues with the with the with the reaction so uh if there is i'll have like they'll be like yeah there'll be like some you'll see there's like a watermark or whatever over the screen um but yeah anyways let's just yeah let's just hop into it uh make sure to drop a sub drop a like comment your thoughts on the game uh let me know if there's more good friendlies coming up in the in the near future so i don't forget about them um i think i also should have i totally i totally blanked on doing this but i was gonna react to the top 14 like semis in the finals um i'll probably just do the finals now because it's it's been a couple it's like it would have been a week or two since that happened but um yeah we'll, we'll hop onto that um yeah yeah let's just hop into it all right yeah apologies my my camera's been going in and out of focus lately so hopefully that's not throughout the video but if it is oh well <laughs> it's still uh yeah it's decent all right um fortunately the yeah the, the all blacks channel like kind of not really spoiled it but they put like it's a, that's a one point thriller in the title which is kind of annoying but um yeah i guess it'll i'll, I'll know it's uh it's gonna be a good matchup at least all right all the South Island city of Dunedin hosts the opening Dunedin. All Blacks test of 2024, and it's the start of a new era in All Black rugby. A new coach and Scott Robertson. New coach, okay, for for All Barrett. Black, and a new coach or and a new captain. International rugby team. Interesting. What is this? England side rejuvenated under their coach Steve Borthwick. Okay, cool. Away from McKenzie, the cross kick. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure what the rosters are, so let me know if they actually have like their full rosters for this, or if it's more of a they have like future guys on the team and stuff and that sort of thing. George goes. England. England's really close. You get? Oh, I thought he got that. There you go. Did you get that? Yeah, I'm not, I don't think he got that. Oh no, he did right there. Okay, nice, nice. I thought the I thought the defender might have got him there. Nice big kick. All right. Nice, nice. Bang. Yeah. Just completely outnumbered him on the side there. After that step, yeah, that was sick. Under penalty advantage they yeah. to go back to that right hand side with McKenzie and Swift. They've had the ball for a long time, haven't made any ground at all. McKenzie, short pass. Yeah, so the all Oaks have missed both their uh, conversions. Interesting. Okay, this is the second half of it. Nice, good kick. Oh no, that, that was half time. Whoops, okay. I forgot it doesn't end right, at, right away. Alright, tidying at the half, that's good. England's really close here. Jeez, there you go, England. Manu Feyu or Boso. Oh, excellent work from the English here. <laughs> that, that, that try song. <laughs> That's the Chicago Blackhawks uh, goal song in the NHL. <laughs> Pretty famous for that. And they gain the penalty. McKenzie with the boot. Alright. Ooh, that was a high one. Jeez. There you go. Goes down the back. Nice throw. Taken down by Jacobson. Reese. Ooh. Right in center field. Up it goes 
Jeez, they're just barreling through. What are they doing? Get over Now Scott Barrett. Savia spinning his way through. Because they're moving quick right now. Although the restarts are going so fast. Nope. What is that? So they've got a penalty here. Penalty? Okay. Is this going to be the one point thriller here? If they have to hit this? You get that? Yeah. All right, yeah, that must be it then. Let's see though. I guess it is still possible to both score. Anton Leonard Brown has got a cross to help out in the heavy stuff. Penalty advantage for the All Blacks. Flat kick here to Leah. Oh, oh, get off him. They'll keep it going here. The All Blacks have got this penalty advantage. Go back. Back All right. It was a tackle with no arms. Hmm. He just collapsed on the ground and let the bloke fall over him. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big kick here for Damien McKenzie. Inside the two-minute mark in the game. Damien McKenzie. For <laughs> if required. Wow. What happened? You take too long. He, he took too long to kick it. What the heck? Jeez, okay. Yeah, there's no way he can ties it here, right? That'd be crazy. This is why the title kind of annoyed me. So I know that they're not going to. Yeah. There we go. Here we go, All box. Okay. 16-15. Yeah, that was a tight game. I guess that's a good good start for the All Blacks under their new uh, new coach and captain, new era. Why is this video so much longer? Oh, there's like interviews and stuff. All right, yeah, we'll we'll just wrap it up there. Yeah, so they did say this is a, a test match, right? So that that is an international match. So would this be considered like like it's not it's not like a part of any competition, right? It's just like. Yeah, I think you just play it. You just play it. They schedule games like this once in a while where they're just like good, like just a good, good competition, right? I, I'm assuming is what's the case. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let me know what that, let me know about how, if these were their full rosters. Cause I know, um, I was planning on actually doing a live stream for Canada playing Scotland in like a tour match, but I, I ended up looking at the rosters and Scotland was like, it was like their C team or something. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna, I don't really want to watch like their C team beat canada probably so um yeah let, let me know how that is i, I assume when, it's, when they're when they're two like top teams playing each other it's it's mostly their full rosters right it's good like practice and stuff for when the actual competitions do start um but yeah yeah for sure um yeah so we're up up there uh thanks for watching uh sub like comment uh, let me I'll answer all my questions if you can that'd be great um, and yeah, and then I'll have uh, South Africa, Ireland highlights reaction will be out like shortly, hopefully, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, let me know for sure if there's any more um, of these games coming up. And also, is there like a web, if you could direct me to a website that shows like a full like international schedule for rugby, that'd be great. Um, I think, is it like all, what's the site called? There's, I saw one site that has like lots of international stats, but yeah, let me know if there's an actual, like what site do you guys all use for this to keep, to keep, to keep track of uh, all the international games? Cause yeah, I should definitely start using that. So I'm like reacting to these like the day of, or the next day, um, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, we're up there. Thanks for watching.